Hey guys, Kev here. And I wanna do an EDC update again for December. I recently did one for November and it has rolled into the next month. Well, technically I think it's the very end of November, but uh, I had time, I figured I'd do it. I'm on lunch and I'm waiting for my bagels to get toasted and I dropped some packages off. Anyway, not much has changed. Uh, I do have in my front left pocket a Oak City Leather Works or Leather Supply Co. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, clip slip here with my Jacob Creates Chickadee. This is in Magna Cut. I actually bought a third one of these. I found one of the Root Beer Float ones. And I really dig that pattern. So. I picked one of those up and then I ordered a third slip for it. So, uh, yeah, the Trinity of chickadees apparently. And it's just a great carry. It's it's great in the front pocket. Um, it's just such a good knife to have on you. I don't know how else to explain it. It's probably my favorite user. And that explains a lot about me, right? Like I don't need a big knife. I don't need a hard use knife. Um, I need a good tip to get into a package. I need to be able to slice some shit. I need like that kind of stuff. And this is perfect. And the best thing about it is if you carry it with the regular sheath on your belt, it disappears. It's gone. So there's a lot of times where I'm like in my office or whatever at home and I'm just dicking around, flipping my knives. I take them out of my pocket, flip it, and then I set it on the desk. Well, then I go downstairs to eat or pick something or whatever. And now I got a package and I can't open it because I literally don't have a knife on me because I left them all upstairs fucking fidgeting with them, right? But then, boom, chickadee right there on the belt, right? I don't fidget with the chickadee. So it's always in the pocket it's supposed to be in or on the belt. And then, bang, I got my chickadee, do what I got to do, good to go. So that's what I love about it. And it's small, unobtrusive. It's all of those things. It's a fantastic knife. Does it cost a little more than it maybe should? I mean, it's made in the U.S., uh, custom made by a dude. Um, I don't think he does his own heat treat or anything, but I'm not sure. Um, maybe he does. Um, anyway, point being is it's like 250 bucks, which is a lot for a very small fixed blade, but I don't mind paying it, so it doesn't matter. Um, I have my CWF Micro Arcadian. As usual, I did get the Moku Tai one in. I think between filming that last one and doing this one, I got that and I sold it within like two or three days. I just could not bring myself to scratch the shit out of a $1,400 flashlight. So I sold it. Um, fidget wise, I do have another knife, but fidget wise, I have this dope ass Zerkutai coin from NJT Hand Power. Love his coins. They're by far my favorite coins. Probably my favorite fidgets. I mean, it's either this or, yeah, it's this. Uh, one of the coins, anyway. Uh, and then in my back pocket, I have a surprise to me how much I love this knife. And I still haven't done the review because I'm just enjoying the shit out of it. This is the Fox Knives Chillin'. Um, this is a Voxnez design, carbon fiber, an M398, which is cool. I got a lynch clip on here. Very comfortable in the hand. Um, I got skiffs in here. It is a steel liner lock, but, you know, 258 bucks in this configuration. You can get it starting at 148 or 150 bucks, and you can get it in M398 for 150 bucks. At least you could at Blade HQ last time I looked in micarta and m398 you can also get g10 and n690 for that price for 200 bucks you can get aluminum and n690 or titanium and m398 just cool combinations and then it goes up from there with carbon fiber you have this one with satin for 258 i think and then you have one uh that is blacked out with carbon fiber and that one's around 270 something like that um, the detent on this is absolute money real snappy fires out no problem i don't know there's just something about it it carries well it cuts well 
it flicks well, it does all the things I want it to do. And beyond that, I can't explain why I love it so much, but it's been in my pocket since I bought it. Um, well, since it arrived, which has been, I mean, over a week. Um, so it's literally been in my pocket for a week straight. That almost never happens. I mean, the mini FSD probably made it about a week. And that's my favorite knife of all time. So, like, there's something about this knife. And I've been carrying it back left or back right pocket because I have the lefty clip on it. And I have the chickadee up front. And I, I kind of want to carry the slip with the chickadee. Um, I think that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. No big update. I mean, nothing's really changed in the last week when I did that video. I still love you guys a lot. Uh, <laughs> Um, thank you for supporting the channel. It means a lot. It really does. Truly appreciate it. Um, on the Devo side of things, we have the Growler dropping, hopefully, uh, between now and Christmas. We have the Mash dropping, hopefully, between now and mid-January. Um, and then we have the uh, Growler U.S. version pre-order starting early January 23 as well. And that's kind of where we're at. I have prototypes coming in on the Pony Stout. They are on the way here. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Let me know what you're carrying down below and I will catch you later. <laughs>